Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your Catalan Studio Instructor and my name is Kumaresh. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Today, we will learn the overview of variables. There are three types of variables supported in Catalan Studio which are Groovy variables, also known as private variables. Test case variables, also known as local variables. And global variables. In this video, we are going to discuss on test case or local variables. The test case variables are used as the test case parameters to replace the hard-coded test data or passing the data as a arguments while calling it. With the help of test case variables, you can reuse the same test case for different set of input data. In this respect, the reusable test case can be treated as reusable blocks. The scope of the test case variables are restricted within the test case, which means same data can be used in all the places of a test case. Due to this restriction, it is also known as local variables. The test case variables can be defined in variables tab of the test case editor. We can define different types of variable, such as integer, string, floating etc. from the configuration. To add variable using grid view, switch to variables tab of your test case. Then, click add. A new row is added to the variable list. Modify the variable details and save the test case once done. We will now show the demonstration to define and use of test case variables in a Catalan test case. We will work with the test case variables in this existing test case. We will create test case variables for the hard-coded test data which are used in this test case. In this test case the hard-coded test data are used for the input fields such as application URL, username, password, and the timeout. Let's start with the input field URL. First, copy the URL value from the test case and navigate to Variable tab. Click on Add button to create the new variable entry and rename it as SURL. Set the default value as the copied URL value. Similarly we will create the variable for username. By default, variables are created as string type. So no need to change this field. Now, create the variable for password field. Once password variable is created, we will create the last variable to store the timeout value. Change the data type as number. And assign a numeric value for timeout. Now, we will see how to replace the hard-coded data with the test case variables. Double-click on Input Data field for URL and change the value type as variable. Then the value field is converted into a drop-down from where we need to select the desired variable name. Click on OK to accept. Similarly replace username value to corresponding test case variable. Replace the password value with password variable. At the end, change the timeout value with the corresponding numeric variable.
If we navigate to the script view of the test case editor, we can observe that the test data are replaced with the variables. The variables, script mode, section shows the XML view of the newly created test case variables. Instead of using a configuration option, we can define the test case variables through this XML structure. The test case variables are now created and assigned to data parameter. Now, we will execute this enhanced test case to check the correctness of the variable implementation. The execution will take few seconds to finish. Script will launch the application by reading the URL from the variable properly. Due to the network latency, test case is taking time to launch the URL completely. It will click on Make Appointment button once the loading completed. Now, the test case enters the user credential and finish the execution after successfully logged in. We can check the logs for each of the steps. In the beginning of the log, we can see that logs for each of the variables and print message is appearing correctly. These types of variables are very useful to pass as input data while calling the test case from another test case. Which means the test cases are used as reusable components. Thanks for watching this video. That's all about test case variables in Catalan Studio. We will learn about global variables in upcoming videos. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.